This is Dalton and Chad at Coyote Classics, and we are bringing you yet another badass muscle car. Today we're checking out a 1963 Nova Supersport. I love these little Chevy Novas, the 63s. This one has an excellent color combination, a hell of a stance, and great sound and dual exhaust. Just a cute ass little car. I love the turquoise interior with the white. It's got a great idle too. Just listen to that thing sitting here in front. Wow. Uh, now these things only came factory with the six cylinder engine. Um, this is a factory super sport six cylinder car, uh, but she ain't no six cylinder anymore. Yeah, so common people get these cars because again, they're all six cylinders. So people get them, they shove a nice little V8 in there and uh, have themselves a ball. Yeah, exactly. Um, check out the inner fenders on this. I'll go ahead, Dalton, and shut the uh, engine off, but check out the inner fenders, how solid this cradle is on this Nova. I like that they went ahead and did the, the fan shroud, the big aluminum radiator, keeping this thing cool. They kept the stock manifolds. I mean, just making it so a lot of people put those headers in here and wrap around the steering steering gear and it'll vibrate and just makes a yep. piece of crap out of it. One thing, uh, you know, headers are cool, but they're probably the biggest pain in the ass and, and more problems than they're worth a lot of times. Because again, they're hard to fit in there. Then they have a leak and then you gotta take them out and put them back in. And this has got the stock manifolds, but listen how good it sounds out the tailpipes. Exactly, you know? really clean underneath the hood too. I like the, the chrome valve covers, the air breather. It's got a Holly uh, carburetor, high rise intake. Thing looks, looks really nice under yeah. the hood. When I bought this, the guy kind of swore up and down it was a 25,000 original mile car. It does appear to have the original interior in it from what I can tell, but uh, there's no way I can prove the, of the miles. So we're just going to go ahead and say it's a repainted original SS um, with a cool small block. Yep. The grill in the front bumper and all the bright work up here definitely is original and it's showing its age. It's got some little scuffs and stuff if you look up close on the bumpers and the grill's got a little oxidation. But all in all, for a 50 year old car, it looks awesome. Really nice gap from front to back and the hood's tucked back in here very nicely against the top of the door and the cowl. Same thing over here on the passenger side, or on the driver's side, excuse me. As far as the glass and chrome go, um, looks to be in really good shape as well as we look across the top of the roof, laser straight. And how about this as a hard top, Dalton? Not a typical little two-door sedan. I mean, the hard top just changes the whole dynamic and the whole look of this. It does, sport. like when you're when you're moving it around, there's so much glass, you know, there's not much connecting that roof <laughs> to the body of the car. It's probably it's a why a lot pillar. of these, sorry about that, I didn't mean to interrupt sure. you, but it's probably why a lot of people had to put roll bars on these damn things. Yeah. Exactly. I like the SS wheels a lot too. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, those are probably my favorite. What really sets the car off to me is those SS caps with the raised white letter tires. Just a neat car. And from, from right here, it looks like a show quality car. But when we get in, we'll find some really minor chips and nicks. But still, it's a car you can take to any local car show, get a lot of thumbs up, get a lot of looks, and be very proud of it. Exactly. Another thing, uh, real super sport guys has to have this Argent paint in the back, which I think that's really classy too. It just gives it a little different. You didn't even notice it, did you? I didn't you? even notice it. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, back bumpers, uh, trim around the back. You can see it's really in great shape as far as it's not all beat up, but it does have some oxidation as well. Again, um, with the low mileage possible, I love the way this car fits, the trunk lid fits excellent as well. But the biggest and most important thing of this car, rust-free original floors, frame rails, and trunk. This is a unibody, so underneath that hood, the rear frame rails, front frame rails, and the floor pans are all that holds this baby together. Yeah. As we go in here in the door jam area, you can see a combination, I'm guessing, of original paint and repaint. Yeah, a lot of it to me looks to be the original paint, which is always kind of neat to see. How about that factory buckets with that original shifter? At first glance, it looks like a four-speed. Yeah, I love these shifters on these uh, early Chevys. Impala had the same one, didn't they? Yes, they did. Turquoise interior. That carpet 
has got to be original. You can just see the stains and stuff like that in it still. I mean, there's really no doubt in my mind that this interior is the original interior that came with from the factory. You can even tell the cord that uh, separates the interior from the door jam. You can tell it's got the original glue there. So that tells you that's definitely original as well. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, how about the dash? A couple little, you know, little tiny little scratches, micro scratches in the dash, but all in all, original AM radio. No one's butchered this car at all. The bezel is highly uh, faded from sun. Original steering wheel, still in excellent shape. I do not see a, cr well, I do. No, not all the way through. It's got a little hairline crack right here. Original Super Sport wheel, original paint on there. I'm guessing it's a Western car. That's probably why we have the, all the fade here on the steering wheel, and it's why it's so solid and original underneath. It's just such an easy starting car. Inside the glove box, nice. How about the heater box and stuff? Somebody obviously probably took that out to repair it. And look at the quality of the paint on that thing. They really did a good job on that. Yeah, they did. The whole car is just, just super neat. I always said black with red, <clears throat> black with red interior is my favorite color combo. But this is kind of giving that a run for its money, the white with the turquoise. Bottom of the door lines up great. Um, you can see that's kind of what Dalton was talking about here. We do have a few little touch-ups right here. Very, very small issues. Um, a bunch of little tiny chips right along the, the rocker panel. Those are just chips. Bottom of the fender is excellent. Little chip in the front edge of the door. And you have some paint coming off of the original trim here. And that's one, one thing the next owner, if he gets bored on a Saturday, I can grab a little paint and a little brush, you know, sp spruce her up a little bit. Exactly. You take a little sandpaper to it first and really do it professionally. There you go. <laughs> I had to throw that in there because it is something that you know, me and Dalton aren't that talented at that kind of crap, but uh, I think in an afternoon, a couple bush lights. A couple bush lights and a paintbrush and I, I'll get her done. I think it looked pretty good. Um, we do have some cracking right here in this quarter panel. Got a couple more like right here, so. Guessing that the paint job was done many, many years ago. But as you look up and down the side, I mean, I know white hides a lot, but the body is super straight, isn't it? And paint has a great shine. And that's why I said a lot of these little things that we're going to point out, I didn't notice for the first three weeks we had the car until we got out here to do the video. Yeah, so you do have a little hairline cracks. So I think what they did is they probably put a very light skim coat on that quarter panel, and that's just kind of what's cracking over time. Uh, bottom of the door, bottom of the quarter panel is awesome, lines up great. Really the only bubbles I've seen on the entire car were just those few little ones I pointed out on that uh, passenger side. But driver's side, I don't see anything. Inside corner of the door, again, I, anytime you have a surface rust, especially in a white car, I don't know why, that rail dust, it just comes out and it just really shows up, doesn't it? Yeah, even my new Chevy. I mean, uh, every winter after you drive it, it's got them little yellow that spots. Sucks. That's the only bad thing with light yellow and white. I think we say that in about every video, but it's the truth. Um, turquoise door panels, gorgeous. Armrests, original. The chrome's still nice on that. A few little scratches. Original uh, seats, for sure. You can tell that right here. That kind of gives it away, the stitching right here. It's that little area there. Let's get in and take it for a spin, huh? 28,581 miles showing on the odometer. Don't know if it's original or not, but it is rust-free underneath, I can tell you that. Oil pressure gauges, gauge works, and it's well over half right off the gun. Rev it up, goes way down here to 60. Fuel gauge works, alternator gauge works. Original radio turns on, makes a little static. It's awesome, a little white noise. Yeah, white noise, I like that. Dome light, how about that? What a sweetheart, man. It is, I like this So I'm gonna point out a couple more things. Um, we usually don't talk about suspension and stuff like that. You know what I mean, they're old cars. But this one, I did order a brand new front suspension kit. That means tie rod ends, ball joints, stuff like that. Um, just because it needed it, you know? Um, and so we got all that brand new and that will be installed. Excellent. Two speed, yeah. Two speed power glide. Yeah, that shifter to me is just so neat. And then you have to like shift it in like a little pattern. It's just kind of neat. Makes it a little more fun to drive. <laughs> it does. 
a little better than the old uh, column shift, ain't it? I didn't talk, check about our heater. Did that work? I don't know. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Of course it does. Everything works on this freaking thing except for the clock. We'll get a little better start off of that, but it's not too bad. No, it's still putting back in your seat. Hey, look at the brakes. No, I think these are pretty much drum brakes, aren't they? I'm sh look at that. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, I know they're not power. power. Said that together. But look at the pedal on this. Awesome pedal. Like you said, you can have a little fun. Just move her down here. Act like you're kind of shifting. Spin them tires too. <laughs> it definitely does, doesn't it? Yeah, it did. Got some smoke. Oh yeah. Check out the shocks and stuff. I'm gonna roll my window up here, but what a smooth riding car. It is, yeah. We got some front suspension stuff to do, but yeah, it does go over the bridge nice. 55, 60, look at that. I know I talked about the suspension, but freaking car drives itself. I would have never drove it, you know. I would never have suspected it needed any suspension work just when we found that in our check-in. Yeah. Man, it drives perfect. That's 70 mile an hour, 75, super quiet. I have the utmost faith in our brakes. I'm gonna go ahead and try those out again. Yeah. They stop, they stop damn good. We're gonna try them out again. I love hearing that four barrel open up. It's one of the things I love about classic cars when they're tuned right, you kick them in, you can just hear that four barrel sucking air. Hey, one other thing. Did you hear how that shifted so nice automatically, that power glide? I mean, there wasn't any slag on that shift. I mean, this is 85 mile an hour right now, hitting 90 with this thing. 100, 95. People probably think we're nuts. We just said it needs suspension work and now we're going 105. Well, seriously, That's look great. at it. awesome. I mean, what a car. I love it. I'm more in love than I was five minutes ago. All right. All right, check this one out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comment section of this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.